Things are changing in El Salvador. All right, thank you guys for joining me for another JC Max upload. This one's coming out of El Salvador. We have some good news for many as four Salvadoran women have been freed from jail after abortion convictions seek clemency for others. Let's take a look. All right, this is coming from Rotors. Here we have pictures of Elsie, Kenya, Evelyn, and Kaden women who were freed from jail after being convicted of aggravated homicide following medical emergencies during their pregnancies posed with abortion rights activists Morena Herrera and Sarah Garcia of the Citizen Group for Decriminalization of Abortion and a Green Handkerchief symbolizing the abortion rights movement in San Salvador, El Salvador on February 22nd, 2022. So big news coming out of El Salvador. This is pretty much news where over the past couple of years, many women have been freed for essentially having abortions that essentially went against the law of the time. So some of them call it a miscarriage of justice because many of these women had issues that they say were necessary that an abortion was made. So many activists go against what they're saying and say they should stay in jail, but many people, especially their families, are happy because they've served almost 10 years or more in jail and now they have been released many of them to go home and be with their families. And so as the news states from Rotors, four Salvadoran women recently freed from prison after a judicial review of their convictions for aggravated homicide following miscarriages called on Tuesday for another 12 women being prosecuted in El Salvador under similar circumstances to have their charges squashed. The four women, as I mentioned above, Kenya, Evelyn, Karen, and Elsie, who asked to be identified by their first names because they feared for their safety, were each sentenced to 30 years in prison after being convicted for aggravated homicide following miscarriages. They served seven to 13 years of their respective sentences and were all freed from December to February after authorities reviewed their cases. They are now asking for the release of seven women who are in prison after being convicted of aggravated homicide after suffering what advocates say were obstetric emergencies. A further five women are facing similar charges. Kenya told reporters when she was 17 she suffered an obstetric emergency in her third trimester after falling at home and despite her calls to the local emergency medical number help did not arrive in time she said she awoke in a hospital bed surrounded by security agents they deprived me of liberty for something so unfair i lost my youth i lost my family said kenya who hopes to study english and cosmetology after being freed she called for the freedom of all the other women deprived of their liberty for the same reason. So given a little history, over the last 20 years, El Salvador, which has banned abortion under all circumstances, including causes of rape and incest, and when the women's health is in danger, has criminally prosecuted some 181 women who suffered obstetric emergency. According to Women's Right Organization, the Citizen Group for the Decriminalization of Abortion in El Salvador. Since 2009, 62 of them have been released, the group says. Salvadoran President Najib Bukele, who has previously ruled out a change to the abortion laws, did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The Inter-American Court for Human Rights ruled in November that El Salvador had violated the rights of a woman identified as Manuela, who was sent to prison for breaching the abortion laws and died while serving her 30-year sentence. Amnesty International said it supports effort to free all women who have been criminalized in El Salvador for obstetric emergencies under one of the most Jarkanian abortion laws in the world. It's shameful the country continues to subject women and girls to a context of extreme violence where they cannot make informed decisions about their bodies. And this was said by Erika Grevara Rosas, who is the director of Amnesty's America. All right, so, you know, this is a big thing to unpack. You know, what say you in the comment section? How do you feel about these laws? Are you for El Salvador's 
current abortion laws or are you against them? Tell me down in the comments below. You know, overall, I'm happy that these women are released and that they get to spend time with their family and live their lives again. Overall, I don't feel like it's my place to comment on their experiences because each of them had their own reasons why they had to go through life-saving measures for themselves to assure that their lives could continue. But overall, I want to hear what you think down in the comments. Let me know, have you had a family member affected by this type of rule that states that no abortions by any means can be done in El Salvador? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you guys watching these videos and more to come from other countries. So don't forget, I have more content from all over the world. Via Pues. Bonus. So many of you guys wanted to know where and how exactly do they dry the fish? And this is how they do it. So pescado seco, si senor. Si. So this is how they do it. So I don't know how you say that in Espanol. So cuánto, cuánto días will the fish stay here? Espera aquí. Cuánto días? Uno. Just one day. Uno días. Uno días. Yes. Okay. And what's this right here? ¿Qué es eso? Eh, esto le llaman gavilán. Carne yeah. gavilán. Gavilán. Ah, sí. All right. So this is how they do it. So. Normally in other cultures, they'll normally, hey, I am not friend of dog. I am not friend of dog. Normally in other cultures, they'll put this on top of their roofs. Like I guess in uh, Philippines, they will do that. And even in Haiti. So, but you know what? Why put it on a roof? Why go all the way up a roof? Actually, the heck, they do do that as I look over there. <laughs> so it is on the roof, <laughs> I think. Maybe. Senor, do you have pescado over there? Look, up there? Pescado up top. Yeah, okay, so I stand corrected. <laughs> they have it on that roof right next to the lighting pole and they have it here. So it's like a makeshift roof. It makes perfect sense. So they'll do both. <laughs> so pretty cool. All right. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué nombre de pescado? ¿Qué? Uh, esto le llaman pilosa. Pilosa? Sí. Pilosa. Well, when I get to the editing stage, I'll look up Pilosa and traduce for you guys. But pretty cool. So one day out here drying and good to be sold. All right, guys. Oh, man, these mangy dogs, man. All over the place. Oh, man. Friend of dog. I am not. What is this dog eating? Plastic? Oh, the dog's eating fish itself. That's a, that's a fish. All right, vamos. Saludos. Oh, gracias. De nada.